Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of student management system. Uh, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you the controller, uh, the new controller that is uh, the teacher controller you can say. Uh, in which uh, controller, uh, um, I am going to show you how to add a new students. So, the adding functionality of the teacher and the students is similar. So you can just copy and the paste from the previous uh, admin controller uh, action method that is add teacher asynchronously. This is the action method and uh, get and the post or also there. So also you can uh, just copy the add error as well as a redirect to locals. So guys, uh, this is the similar thing. So you can mm, you can just uh, copy it from the admin controller and just paste under the section of the teacher controller. Now, only some changes uh, in the teacher controller. Uh, I mean to say that uh, I want to uh, add a new student. So, the name of the action method is related to the student. So, you can do. Uh, and uh, the another things is the similar, the, like the add error method, uh, redirect to locals is the same. So, no changes uh, occurs in uh, other methods so after that you can add a new class uh, instead of uh, teacher view model you can add student view model in a student view model the another property you can add it like uh, enrollment number so all uh, other properties which is uh, related to the uh, which is related to the teacher is the similar with the students but the new property uh, uh, must to add in in the student uh, section that is enrollment number uh, okay and uh, also resolve the errors by using control dot key uh, you can say uh, resolve usings and uh, resolve namespaces uh, from control dot key the another property is enrollment number you can just uh, copy from the application uh, application user class uh, in the model folder so there is application user class and here we have a enrollment number and that property is not available in the teacher module but that property is also available in the student module so just uh, paste it here uh, instead of teacher students okay teacher view model and uh, this is the student view model application user so resolve uh, using uh, by just control dot key and also add the another property in the application user uh, object that is enrollment number. So enrollment number equals to model dot enrollment number. And also just copied from your admin controller that is user manager class, uh, I uh, logger messages, uh, etc. So just copy from the admin controller and just paste just after in the teacher controller and resolve the constructor also. So just do this and I email sender right click on it and resolve also these types of error. So guys, if you love this video, please subscribe my channel. I request you please subscribe my channel because without your subscription, uh, I'm not um, feeling well. So if you uh, like this video, if you subscribe this my channel, then I will provide you better video tutorials of ASP.NET Core and ASP.NET MVC and uh, Xamarin also and any types of help. Uh, I will uh, I uh, I will try my level best. I will uh, provide you, uh, which is related to this uh, ASP.NET MVC and ASP.NET Core. So, guys, uh, if you like this, please, please, please subscribe this channel and uh, also click on the bell icons to uh, get a latest videos. Okay, so uh, please do this. So if you want to add a new view uh, just uh, of the HTTP GET action method, the add student, you can uh, just right click on the um, action name and add the student view model. So there is 
and ASP action name is the add student async. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other remaining videos of student management system and learn many more things about ASP.NET Core and projects. And I will provide you uh, lots of projects through my channel. Thank you very much for watching.